All right, we're gonna go ahead and try this again for the second time. First time the game was not popping up, but now it is up. So you guys should be able to see it. Am I here? Am I live? We're good to go for some Donkey Kong 64. Hello, people of the internet again. So yes, so we are going to start our long haul playthrough of Donkey Kong 64 using the actual N64 itself. I brought it out. We haven't played N64. Oh God, I gotta stop that. We haven't played N64 for a uh, for a little while, have we? What was the last game we did N64 on? I don't remember. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start right off. This is one I have never beat. I've never really played it much, actually. I think my file that I have, I think, is like 45 minutes. Like, I barely have any gameplay in this. So we're gonna get right to it. Take the music on out here, as always, as Animusic. Check them out at animusic.com. And we will get right to it. So I did some testing. And I'm noticing that the game is really oversaturated. 14-hour <clears throat> playthrough. Everything I was seeing was, uh, like, 30 hours. What do you like better? You like the oversaturation, or... I think I like that. Because the over... Oversaturation looks crappy. So I think we'll go with that. That looks a little better. Uh, but yeah, from what I was seeing, like casual playthroughs of this is like 25 to 30. So this should be a quite long playthrough as far as, uh, as far as how we play games. So let's get right to things. Hang on a bit. Let's get right to things. I'm going to go through some of the options here. <clears throat> 101 casual one and third. Well, yeah, plus was that his blind? Was that a blind run run through of it? Score shit No. Chimpy cam. We'll do it free. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do some sound here. Main. <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, seeing this is a blind casual playthrough, I'm going to say closer to probably 20 to 25. No, no, no. I'm just going to go till I... However it, it takes me, however I go to beat the final boss of the game, whatever that may be. That's all I'm worrying about. Not worrying about collecting every banana and every character and whatnot. Yeah, that... My screen is really oversaturated, so the game itself here on here looks actually pretty good, so. Mystery, I don't know what that stuff is. We're just gonna go right into adventure. So yeah, so you see game one? Yeah, I've only played like 46 minutes and I have barely anything, 1% of the game. So I've played nothing of this game. Um, let's, let's just go ahead and erase it. And we're gonna start in uh, in that spot. Yeah, like I said, I bought this just because I found it really cheap at like a, I think it was a flea market because um, I know this game's pretty pricey. So I bought it and I just played it for a little bit and put it on the shelf with my collection and I have never got around to it. So let's do this. This will be fun. I've got the game volume coming through my actual speaker, so I'm trying to hear it and uh, make sure it's not. Feeding back into the mic, so we'll see what happens. All right. And let me know um, how I sound as well, because uh, I can only have my mic so far over, so hopefully you guys can hear me as well. Steel Phoenix 73, what is up? Oh, hey, yeah, that's not our steel. It's a different steal. Thank you for stopping by. How you doing tonight? And welcome back. Why do you say welcome back? <laughs> Setup sounds fine. Okay, yeah, because I'm turned further over because my CRT TV. I've been found out.
Yeah, my CRT TV is further over, so I have to turn even further from my other setup, so. Yeah, I'm playing this on a CRT TV. <clears throat> Just like Dad used to use. I am now DIing. What? What's going on, Steel? I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Donkey Kong and his pretty little island will be no more. So King K Rule is the uh, the baddie of the game, I guess. Pure nostalgia. Flare man, N64 is getting fancy. <laughs> Clump, I don't know who Clump is, so yeah. So, if you don't know Steel, I am uh, playing this blind. I've owned this game for a bunch of years now, and I, uh, I've probably when I first got it, I played about 45 minutes of it, and I haven't played it since with all my other stuff I've been doing. So, this is pure. Blind. Should we have watched the uh, the rap in the beginning? <laughs> Just for the heck of it? Oh well. Maybe at the end we'll reset the game and watch the rap. I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Oh, that's what grenade guys are called clumps? Okay. And take care of his pathetic friend. Please don't submit us to the DK rap. Why? It was so cool. I used it for testing earlier today. Uh oh. No! Not all the other Kongs. No. <laughs> it's too catchy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> DK. Squawk, DK, DK, come quick. They're gone. They're all gone, Brock. <laughs> Yeah, I may have to turn down my TV settings too because I guess I have my saturation quite high on the TV at least it looks all right here so and we're off and running a watermelon I know is our health and we got free camera move well inside it looks like we don't have camera movement so <clears throat> time to get cranky with it all right so you got jump attack we go in the hammock and kind of go in the hammock I guess he wants us to come out. All right, let's go. <clears throat> if I can walk out the door, I was looking over at the side. Here we go. Banjo-Kazooie, I mean Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> I mean, it technically is very Banjo-Kazooie-like because it's rare. Same composer, same system. Squawk, your precious banana horde, and all the other Kongs have vanished. Now what's new? My banana horde. I can't find them anywhere, DK. 
You'd better go and tell Cranky the bad news, Brock. Do I get hurt by falling from high spots? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we got camera. C down is the camera. C up is zoom in. You got pilot controls going on. Can I change settings? No, there's no other setting. Okay. And then I can turn right and left with the C. R centers my camera right behind me. Z by itself ducks. I'm, I think there's like the Mario jump. Yeah. So running Z jump does like a, a leap. And then attack with Z does a roll. And then Z with a jump does like a backflip move. Z by itself with attacking does nothing. All right, cool. Let's go. <clears throat> that king is K. Rule. K. Rule. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, Cranky. There's an arrow pointing there, but I don't see him. Ah, Cranky's lab. <clears throat> All right, sweet. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good for nothing son. Lost your golden bananas again? And where might you f your flea bitten friends be? You don't know, do you? I'd have th thought you would be able to smell the work of a reptile by now. Luckily for you, old Cranky's batch of homemade potions will give you all the skills you need for your silly 3D quest. But you're not having it any until you completed my training barrels now buzz off and come back when you've done them all nice such a cranky old day all right training barrels hooray what did cranky mean about training donkey all confused oh he was in her monologue there oh wow all right do i have to change the camera every time I get out to a new area uh, banana horde it's not there way out and that's training okay oh depth perception I was not anywhere close to that uh, cranky's labs in the new dance club Squawk, press A to leap from one vine to the other, and R while holding a vine to face the other way. Press Z to drop from a vine. Now go and collect the coin at the end of the vines. Brock, oh shoot. Okay. Are you serious? Why? What? Oh, crunky, oh. But why am I not... This is annoying. I was jumping right on it. Oh, this is stupid. So it swings automatically. Okay, so I don't need to worry about swinging. It swings automatically for me. I just have to push A. Okay. Bonus stage and things I get out. Time for some N64 platform. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. We'll see how this playthrough goes for us. Squawk, press B to pick up a barrel and B again to throw it. Pick up and throw five barrels to move on. At least I can run up to it and press B. It doesn't like attack. So that's a pretty good thing to have. Well done. Wow, that's really loud and yelly. Um, but yeah, I was really worried that I would run up to it, hit B, and he'd, like, swipe an attack or something, you know? <clears throat> well done! Squawk, pick up the oranges and hold Z, then press right C to throw them. Just throw five oranges. Oh, they're grenades. <laughs> That's cool. Well done. I always love this game. My first ever. It's your first game ever? Wow. Alright, on to the sparkling one. 
This one intrigues me the most. Well, hopefully I can do it justice. Like I said, I've never played it other than that one time like eight years ago when I bought it. Press Z to dive underwater, then press and hold A or B to swim at different speeds. Pressing Z will act as a water break to slow you down. Prove yourself by collecting the coin at the bottom. Rock. But it is very Mario-esque as well. I like how they give you a minute to do this. It's not that tough. The swimming swimming does feel very Mario 64-like, so... Uh, so that's alright, I guess. Hurry, DK, go and get that potion from Cranky, and uh, I don't know what it said, because it skipped. And the frames reduced there real quick. Is there a quick way for me to run around? Is rolling quick? <clears throat> rolling seems pretty quick. Alright, Cranky, give me some potions and whatnot. Hmph, you took your time. No, I didn't. Uh, jungle rust set in. Did it? Here, drink this. You didn't tell me what it's done yet. Simeon Slam, Buttus Bashim. Bashim. Bashium. Bashium. Rolling is the fastest way to move around. Right, you and your missing buddies will be able to slam the ground by pressing A to jump, then press Z whilst in the air. It should get you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. Nice. See you later, if you're lucky. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of stuff to collect in this, isn't there? Can we just sit? Okay. Okay. Oh, really? So all I have to do is hit save, okay. and you can save at any time? Butt bounce. Nice. Alright, so uh, I guess we're free to do whatever. Anything on top of these trees and whatnot? Oh, you get to the top of the tree and you jump and it... That's kind of weird. There's too many things to collect. Yeah, that's why I'm not worried about doing the whole 100% thing. It says this is the way out, so... Bada bing! Nice! Alright. Feel good. So yeah, guys, this will be our uh, two-night event tonight and tomorrow night, and then I will make it our normal... Our normal uh, Wednesday Thursday game that we play. He's back, D 